You said 2500 That's what you said. No, no, that's what you said. Oh. What's $50 amongst new acquaintances? That's the same question I would ask you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry you, you, you got burned. A guy brought in a really weird compressed gas gun, and I've never seen anything like it. He's asking a lot of money, so I'm bringing in my guy Craig to clear up some questions for me. I don't get surprised very often, but today's a surprise. I have seen two of these in my life. This gun is incredible because it's innovative. The user would screw it on underneath the gun, and when he pulled the trigger, little rod would push a spring out, letting a little bit of this liquid out. It would instantly expand into a gas, creating an enormous amount of pressure up into the barrel, and it would push the pellet downrange. Conditions very nice, minor pitting, beautiful hand engraving. They all were hand engraved. Not a lot wrong with this gun. In fact, there's nothing wrong with this gun. All right, so the big question, what's it worth? It's worth 3,000 bucks. Okay, thanks, man. Hey, Rick, thanks. Bust. This is great. So what you're offering me is 3,000. No, I'm offering you 2,000. I have to make a little money myself. You can easily double your money on this gun. Easy. If I paid 2,000. If you paid even 7,500. <laughs> no, there's no way I could pay 7,500. I will give you $2,200. That is what I can do. What happened to 25? 3,000 is a fair deal. You just said 2,500. That's what you said. No, no, that's what you said. Oh. <laughs> you implied 2,500. No, no, you implied that you would take 2,500. I'll tell you what, I'll give you 2,500 bucks for it. He just tricked you into paying him 2,500 bucks. He did not trick me into paying him 2,500 bucks. Would you take 2,500 bucks? 3,000 is definitely out of the ballpark. All right, man, take it easy. We're 20, not gonna make a deal. 2,500. Do it for 2,500? I'll do 25. All right. We'll go write them up? Yeah, I'll go write them up. Hey, how you doing? Good, Chum. How are you? I'm good. How you been? I'm all right. Earlier, a guy brought in a pair of saw-handled pistols. So I called in Alex to help me figure out if I should buy them. These are what we refer to as saw-handled pistols. What's interesting about these is the name on them. So that would be Alexander Henry, who had a shop in Edinburgh, Scotland. This is like the most famous gun maker during the Victorian era. So it looks like it's the same Henry. You were concerned about that. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's... I was hoping for that. So um, what kind of value do you put on these? Well, five to 6,000. Okay. All right, well, that's what I needed to hear. All right, good luck, Bill. Thank you. So how much would you like to get for him? 42. Would you take 28 for him? No. Oh, 3,500 would be my bottom. I can do 33, but I can't go a dime higher. I'm hoping that could work for all of us. 3350. Uh... I really... What's $50 amongst new acquaintances? That's the same question I would ask you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's below what I was expecting you to take, but I'll accept your deal on a handshake, <laughs> okay? All right, let's go over here and write them up. All right. Earlier today, I met with a guy who wanted to sell me a pistol. I've never really seen one of these, so I had to call my buddy Sean to come down and check it out. Hey, Corey, good to see you again. So this is yours, Jim? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. What, what do you know about it? Well, uh, I got it at a gun show, and, uh, you know, the uh, seller had bought it from an estate sale, and um, it had been in the family for generations, and uh, I was fortunate enough to get it. Well, this form of uh, flintlock pistol was made by the British uh, military in between the years about 1790 and 1820. What do you think it's worth? If it's authentic and, you know, to the period, uh, anywhere between 15 and 2,500. Um, unfortunately, just right off the bat, I know that this is, unfortunately, a reproduction. The markings were, you know, punched in as opposed to hand engraved. You would have certain markings on the barrel that were proof marks from the Tower of London. There is just nothing about this gun that is of the period. You're sure? 100% positive. It looks the period, and it looks like it has age, but it's all artificial. How much is this thing worth? Um, its value would be about seventy-five to hundred dollars. You know, I paid eight hundred bucks for this. I'm sorry you, you you got burned. My wife was pissed uh, when I bought this gun. Now she's really gonna kill me. Wow.
This thing is nice. This is a cast me out. This is like one of the holy grails of American coins. I'll do 95 and that's it. No, I don't think so. I think I'm going to take it home.